Let's just finish up these news stories. Uh, I got a Columbus Day thing. You guys like Columbus Day? Oh yeah, the yeah, Indian. that's Dude, yeah. The it's Indians are school, pissed. Sure. Yeah, it's great. Uh, it's a great holiday. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, so uh, some uh, some people are apparently uh <clears throat> not so happy with Christopher Columbus. Apparently Columbus was an Italian uh, or what? Mm. He was an Italian in Spain. Uh, interestingly okay. enough, he worked for the Spanish government, I believe, if I, just mm-hmm. off the top of my head. And uh, he was initially uh, commissioned to do things like go find um, supplies of, like, fruit and fucking slaves. You know, it's slaves. Instead, were just he found thing, this you know, but, beautiful um, nation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, he was a slave trader, basically, is what Columbus generally was. Mm-hmm. And uh, so <clears throat> this... Uh, this Indigenous Peoples Day, uh, let's see, the, Solidi- the, the Seattle City Council is replacing Columbus Day with Indigenous Peoples Day in the city. And I think it's interesting that uh, finally somebody's actually taking a fucking, an actual stand that makes sense on this shit and not just going like... This guy was a dick. Who, Cl- Christopher Columbus? Yeah. He was the worst, dude. He was, you know he what was, I, tr- I like to think about him, if you, if you let me say this? What? Um... They make him out to be this big fucking innovation, innovative hero that, that, that and all this stuff. I think that they were like, dude, you know that direction that we don't sail because nobody ever comes back? He was like, yeah. He's like, we want you to go that way. He's probably like, fuck you, man. You know what I mean? And they were like, no, no, somebody's got to eventually go that way until he was something the biggest, happens. He was the biggest dick out of everybody. Like, yeah, we just got to send you. Like, like, yeah. You know, and he's, they're like, listen, we'll give you two other ships. We, Somebody's got to go that way eventually. He's like, fuck. You know what I mean? Then he found something and he came back and he's like, ah, you're a hero and shit. But he's probably like, God, like terrified shit in his pants when he left. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Nobody um, ever went <clears throat> that way. That's Fun not true. Though. Nobody See, actually knows what Christopher Columbus looks like because he was never painted. So. Yeah. Well, I know it's not true. I know the, the Vikings did and shit. I know, Here's the other I thing. Know. But they, it was still they, scary. There's a lot of evidence that they were following maps already they weren't just plotting oh, it as okay. they went i mean they tried or at the to very t- least they had like a <clears throat> compass and and also but christopher there, compass there's Columbus. yeah there was they the, i mean these guys <laughs> were world these guys were world explorers they weren't stupid they knew that africans and norwegians had been to the to the americas and stuff it had already happened i mean history really is is a funny thing the, what we're taught in school is very far from what was really going on, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, I mean, they'll teach you. When I was a little kid, there was still shit on PBS about how people believe the Earth was flat at that point. Not true. Some people know? still they think that shit. That that people then thought the Earth was no, flat. no, no, no. You mean flat, flat Earth, Earth society. society? You got it. Oh, yeah. it's real, dude. Yeah, are they a real? They're thing? real. There's like they have like three thousand members. Yeah, they think the Earth's flat. Well, <clears throat> I think the hollow earth is a lot more likely than the flat earth. I think that, that would I think that would explain <laughs> uh, both. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm a hollow earth believer too. I'm a ho- I'm not necessarily a hollow earth believer, but I <laughs> definitely think it's a fun fucking topic. That's for damn sure. Um and it's fun that had to play with the math and stuff and people are doing cool shit with it and uh but you know, it's another proposition of a place we've never been. We've never been to the core of the earth. We don't fucking know. Maybe we can fucking get inside of a big bubble and fucking run there. We don't really know what's 90, 100 miles down, you know. We don't mm-hmm. we don't know that shit. Uh but so uh <clears throat> back to this Columbus Day thing. The uh tribal members and other supporters say the move recognizes the rich history of people who have inhabited the area for centuries. And I think mm-hmm. here's the thing. I think it's fucking cool. I think we all know Anyone intelligent who's really looked at the real history knows Christopher Columbus was a bad fucking dude. I mean, well, all the explorers were. I mean, yeah, look at wasn't he a Magellan? Fat slob too? Supposedly? What do you know about? I don't know anything about Magellan. What Magellan is, basically just got lost. Yeah, he was looking for something, who, and then exploited native tribes like they all did. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of that, and they end up getting killed by the indigenous tribes too. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, Columbus was a guy. Yet, and you guys can look this up. I don't, I don't remember the exact names right offhand. You can, uh, Andrea, if you can find this. Uh, there was a doctor on Columbus's, uh, some of his voyages that kept a log, basically, uh, of <clears throat> a lot of the shit that Columbus and his soldiers would do. And it was kept secret and then published later. And he told stories of, like, Columbus and his men lining up native people and uh having contests to see who could chop a person in half with a sword the quickest Mm -hmm. and shit like this was just common everyday occurrence for them you know these guys were fucking brutal (coughs) 
brutal dudes, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think I think this is fucking cool that at least like they've influenced enough for for the government to finally go, okay, all right, you know, we'll stop having the slave trader fucking you know genocide artist, which is what he kind of was. Uh, I think it was in Trinidad or Haiti or some shit. <laughs> I forget where. Uh, he decimated it like his him and his people decimated a complete fucking island of people it might have been the original haitians i can't remember uh dominican something i don't know find out columbus killed a whole fucking island of people sure he was crazy so he's got a lot on our plate right now yeah how many things have i just given you in the past few minutes four really did i (laughs) well do your best with that caller Uh, (laughs) i'm gonna address the caller caller yeah what do you know about cat brain disease no we're talking about the the uh Columbus Day thing. We gotta finish that. Several Italian Americans and others objected to the change. What is that shit? What is it? Why do Italian well, saying Indigenous Peoples Day honors one group while disregarding the Italian Italian heritage of others? What the the, like what? How? How? That to me, that's insane. Why do you want part of your heritage to be a guy who's proven to be just an evil motherfucker? Well, that's Italian heritage. Well, boo hoo. Like what? What do you want? What? Why are you, why are you fucking trying to stand up for this dude just because he was from Italy? Do you stand up for uh, Mussolini? You know, like what the hell? What the hell is happening here? You guys got that guy was Hitler's homeboy, wasn't it? Yeah, Mussolini. Right, that was the reference. So we're not actually talking about that. Mm. That's all we got from the room here. (laughs) Well, (laughs) Well, actually, it does remind me of something I read earlier today. Apparently, uh, something about like Hitler was a meth addict. They didn't have meth yet. Hitler was? Hitler was on crystal methamphetamines. Was he? There was like some famous rant uh, he was going on. And, like, that would make didn't... a lot of sense. You're proclaiming that Hitler was a meth addict? Yeah, you, yes. don't, want, you don't want Hitler's estate to there sue There was you. meth in Hitler's true. bunker when he killed himself. Wow. Yeah, and apparently he went, when he went on this like, famous like, two-hour tirade in 1943 when it was, there was like a meeting with like all but, the... Uh, Axis powers, you know, it was like Mussolini was in the room. It's like Hitler was just rambling on and on, and you could just tell that this guy was just like, yeah, he. I mean, he was rocking the blue candy. I thought meth was like fucking all the shit you buy from Walgreens and shit. Where did you get that plethora of chemicals back hey, then? All those chemicals existed. I mean, it's. I mean, meth has probably been around in different forms. I don't Isn't know if they baby smoked aspirin? it back then. They, they probably baby some, aspirin. I don't know. Who some knows shit. what it was? Probably something you snorted or something. Um, so uh, <clears throat> here's here's the story here though. Columbus Day is a federal holiday that commemorates the arrival of Christopher Columbus, who was Italian, in the Americas on October twelfth, fourteen ninety two. We don't argue with the idea of Indigenous Peoples Day. We do have a big problem of it coming at the expense of what essentially is, is Italian Heritage Day. Says Ralph mm-hmm. Fas- Facitelli, an Italian American who lives in Seattle, speaking outside the meeting. And I gotta say, what a fucking moron that guy seems yeah. like to me, isn't it? What's I mean, the argument he's gonna make, why not just change it to Italian Heritage Day? Exactly, exactly. Well, if I mean, it wasn't Italian Heritage Day; it was fucking genocide, fucking slave trader day. What the fuck? I mean, why is this so hard for people to admit? Someone of my culture did something bad. That doesn't mean you did something bad. Be an individual. Do something to be fucking proud of. Maybe you wouldn't be so hung up on every one of your goddamn culture. Is there anybody that has a clean record? Like any group of people? No, no group of people. You could come up with anything. Eskimos. I mean, you could paint any group any way you want. Eskimos probably got a serial killer. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> don't. Yeah, there probably is. They don't get reported. Who reports that shit? Eskimos probably oh, have their... I was, I was sleeping in the igloo, right? And I heard somebody pry open one of the ice cubes, <laughs> peer in at me. And yeah. I knew that it was going down right from there. Motherfucker busted out a lighter and a torch, and it was all over. <laughs> it was the frozen. <laughs> it was the frozen river killer. It's like the opposite of arson. It's yeah. <laughs> it's like uh, like melting your house melted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking melted my house. Melt, motherfucker melted my goddamn. <laughs> um, but what I mean, like, what is this thing? I mean, so many groups do this. You can't. You can't. You can't talk shit about someone who is of my group, you know? Like, mm. the guy... What is the deal? Do these people have a fucking leg to stand on? Uh, this is a big insult, they say, to those of us of Italian heritage. Why? Because the government's fucking not going to tell everybody to celebrate that guy's... Who gives to a shit? To celebrate your fucking criminal... Apparent, like, 
Here's the thing. If you confronted most of these fucking Dagos with the truth about Christopher Columbus, they wouldn't listen to you. Guarantee you. Yeah, well, that. when you Guarantee think you about it, to it, when you think about it, don't the Italians take offense to just about everything? Yeah, they do. When's the <laughs> last time that it was Columbus Day and you walked they out take to Italians, the store and Italians, somebody said, Happy Columbus Day? Nobody. Nobody Italians take offense at, like, at uh, Daly not being mayor anymore. <laughs> that's, that's offensive to them. You know, they're, they're offended by... Uh, by neighborhoods changing demographics, they're they're, they're offend- offended by stuffed crust pizza. I mean, yeah, just- right. Uh, uh, it- yeah. Stuffed crust pizza, stuffed crust pizza is not bad. I'll eat it. No, it's fine. Italians are stupid. That's one of the mm. worst nationalities there is. <clears throat> and that's one of my. I'm like twenty five percent of that shit fucking piece of shit nationality. I hate everyone that like has some stupid little Italian pride. Although I hate most people that have some stupid little, like, genealogical pride. Aren't like, you, you an know, Italian? Like, uh, yeah. So you can talk all the shit you want, I guess. I can talk shit about anybody. I don't care. No. I talk shit about Mexicans. I'm not Mexican. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I don't care. Whatever. Uh, you know, I, They're an I, easy target. Like, nobody cares if you talk crap about them. Who? Mexicans. Yeah, they do. A lot of people do. Not really. Well, people don't understand that Mexico well, is just Mexicans. Yeah, stupid Mexicans. Uh, no, people don't understand. <laughs> you can't see that. <laughs> well, whatever. People don't understand <laughs> that it's just the country next to us. See, it's not like a race of people. It's it's the people that live over there. That goes on all over the world. Like uh, everybody in Eastern European, uh, Eastern Europe, fucking hates the country next to them. Yeah, like oh, uh, I hate like, you, Russia. Like we're yeah, all the dude, same though. Really. Asian Asian people hate the country next to them. Fucking South American people hate the country next to them. That's just goes what on. Aust- all what about over Australia? Them. Think, what about Australia? Um, They're probably legit. I would Australia think, is good. Uh, yeah. Oh, they, they fucking hate the uh, the indigenous people there too. The Aborigines. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's probably true it. too. I was gonna say I, I would think the Irish would be kind of like the low hanging fruit as far as like ethnicities go because it's like all the Irish stereotypes are pretty much true. It's yeah, like a lot of them really are. Yeah, it's kind of like your your sister has like weird shoulders and it's like you're drunk off your ass <laughs> wait, all the time. And it's, it's, wait, uh, Irish people are known to have weird shoulders. Irish women, yeah, they've got these like like really broad shoulders. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Totally, yeah. Big broad know that. shoulder, fucking. They wear Brillo pad sweaters. Fucking just <laughs> dumbass that. Irish people. Yeah, and there's suck. gnomes there too, right? <laughs> yeah, there's gnomes leprechauns running around. No, there's no. They, they think about the. They, they talk about these gnomes that come around rocks or something. It's like, like the like Irish that. wardrobe. They'll wear anything except protection. Is that true? <laughs> 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 Let's ask Jimmy Buyer. Get him on the phone. We got He's a, one of nine. We've got one Irish friend. <laughs> that's it. Um, anything but protection and a fucking... Uh, well, no. You know what? They have the worst clothing of all time. <laughs> you see you see people in Ireland, they look awful. They're just, they're just not about... They don't want to be comfortable or fucking stylish or anything. Mm-hmm. Any of that shit. All that shit's out the window in mm-hmm. fucking old rainy fucking dreary ireland well, it's weird about people wearing clothes and shit all around the world like if you go to like um like uh the middle east and shit somehow they got all the promotional 1990s mcdonald's t-shirts like uh, and stuff <laughs> like that like or like yeah. africa like how did you get all those all those burger king shirts like where'd you all get those dude i went to, i went to ireland everybody looked like the united states 15 years ago that's kind of that's kind of well. They wear those like. hats still, and right? like, and they they had their traditional stuff, but everybody mm-hmm. looked just like uh, just like awkward and just non fucking. I don't know. Ugh. And their Vancouver Grizzly starter jackets and yeah, right. And <laughs> this was and this was actually 2001 or something that I went there, so it was even like different. It was like everybody had like like baggy t shirts and skinny jeans but that wasn't me, like, in style at the time. <laughs> Didn't you say little kids were drinking yeah, booze dude. and smoking little, yeah. cigars and talking oh, mad yeah. shit? Oh, or yeah. something? Mm-hmm. They were fucking uh we were marching down the street in our stupid gay little marching band and everybody all the kids were running around breaking American flags and stomping on them and like mm-hmm. spitting at us and like throwing fucking <laughs> cigarette butts and shit. We're like, dude, these kids are fucking awesome. <laughs> like we can't like this me and me and my friend Jimmy just this was such a clusterfuck. We were in Dublin, Ireland. We were 14. And uh, we just stopped marching in the band and just started walking with these kids. Like, yeah, you guys are right. Like, we, this fucking sucks. Like, And we were breaking American flags and burning them and stuff. And just, like, 
These kids were drunk, dude. They're like six, seven, eight years old, drunk and smoking <laughs> cigarettes. I'm not kidding you. Just running around smoking cigarettes, for like, and we were, we had them getting us cigarettes, and uh, yeah, it was a great time. We had a few beers, and and it didn't get too crazy, but uh, we we pulled a few things off while we were there. But uh, the the Ireland is nuts, dude. Those little kids are just running around, just mm-hmm. fucking going crazy. Mm-hmm. They're awesome in the middle of Dublin. I remember it's hearing- awesome because they're white. It'd be weird if it was like you know what I mean to me. No, I don't know. Like, that take care of your children. Actually, I um, someone Sorry. I went to Sorry. Grade, <laughs> actually a thought. mutual friend of ours from grade school was on that trip with like the high school marching band, and like a twelve year old girl actually prepositioned him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, seriously, it's like I'll go down on you. Oh yeah, you're she twelve. Was, she was probably just fucking around too, but it's fucking weird. <laughs> it's no, because like, you saw her actually giving a BJ like in a bathroom stall like five minutes later. Chicks in the U.S. Yeah, are nice. fucking at like nine now. I'm not kidding you. You fucking look it up. Yeah, there's probably. And I must yeah. have been it's doing disgusting. something wrong when I was nine. Well, yeah. no, they just weren't <laughs> idiots back then. I was not getting laid at nine. People are. Some people. Some kids are. Nerd. <laughs> All right. Uh, what have we got? Something called Jew food. What is this? <laughs> is Jew racist to say Jew? Is <laughs> that okay? <laughs> well, it depends how you say it. the name of the link. It depends how you say it. Jew? I believe it's called kosher. Yeah, my friend's a, my friend's a Jew. Or like, uh, my friend knows this guy. He's a Jew. <laughs> oh, wait, which one is oh, not? Which one is okay? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this place. All right, let's get through this. This is like, I think this is like the last thing. Uh, this place is called Conflict Kitchen. All right, you guys ever heard of this? <laughs> no. This, it right, sounds very noble. My shit. Conflict Kitchen in Pittsburgh mm-hmm. took a novel idea and ran with it. On a rotating basis, they serve the cuisine of countries with which the United States is in conflict. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, they serve the cuisine of countries that we're fucking at war with. Cuisine? Uh, yeah. Cu- cuisine? Cuisine. 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 Cu- cuisine. Uh, cousin? I guess it is cuisine. My cousin. Cuisine. How do you say it? Cuisine. 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 Do you really have to? I always said like more cuisine. No, like a pop quiz. I'm cuisine. the guy who pronounced it kush. I mean, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> cuisine. Yeah, the kush guys Cus. over here trying to Just give you advice. Cuisine. <laughs> cuisine always sounded pretentious to me. I always said cuisine. I've never said cuisine. That just sounds wrong. Oh, really? Does it? Cuisine. On Monday, the restaurant began serving Palestinian food, and the city's Jewish community is having a fit. Okay? This is a fucking other story. that I Like, people just need to grow the fuck up. There's a restaurant that wants to serve Palestinian food because the theme of the fucking restaurant is that... <clears throat> they serve food that the United States is in conflict with. We're now, these in conflict pe- with the Palestine. Are we not? Do we not fund Israel and back Israel we fund and every Israel, fucking thing that they ever do? We don't do? directly do it. That's the statement that the restaurant is making, uh, is that okay. let's not beat around the bush. We are in conflict with Palestine. We do fund their fucking, their oppressor. So, Conflict Kitchen is a restaurant that only serves cuisine from countries <laughs> with which the United States is in conflict. Each Conflict Kitchen iteration is augmented by events performances and discussions that seek to expand the engagement the public has with the culture politics and issues at stake within the focus country the restaurant rotates uh identities every few months and in relation to con uh, to current geopolitical events so i like it because uh one of the things one of the easiest ways to fucking to identify with people and commiserate with them is over food and beverage. That's one of the ways, the <laughs> easiest ways that we all connect in in general. And so when you when you take it and say, "Here's the cuisine, the cuisine of this environment <laughs> that that word. we're currently that we're currently fucking bombing and and destroying," mm-hmm. it makes it a little bit more personal. And I like that, you know. And I and I like the humanity kind of aspect. And um, here's what I don't like: typical Jews. <sighs> Uh, the, the director, the director of community relations council at the Jewish Federation of Greater Pittsburgh, Greg Roman, objected. This is what I seriously don't. This is the same thing with the fucking Italians, dude. Same fucking shit. Here's the objection. P- 
Palestine is not in conflict with the U.S. <laughs> the restaurant is stirring up conflict for the sake of trying to be relevant. So what is Palestinian food? I'm guessing fish. Uh, how about then you don't eat there? I'm guessing fish because they have so many sanctions on them and that's cares? all they have is fish. The point is, how about you don't fucking eat there? Yeah. Well, if I learned anything from that Palestinian chicken episode from Curb Your Enthusiasm, there was like a lot of like peas and figs involved. Yeah, it sounds gross. I'm sure oh, it is. and most definitely <laughs> See, they're slamming on some dates, right? They're eating dates over there. Too. I would have uh, dates. Yeah, they love dates over there. I would have more respect for the fucking for the uh, Jewish Federation if they said like we object to the Palestinian food because it's icky. I would I would have more respect for that statement. I really would. Mm-hmm. The people of Gaza who suffered over twenty one hundred casualties during Israel's latest American funded attack might take issue with the assessment uh, that Palestine is not in conflict with the U.S., as might the thousands of wounded and injured protests from the West Bank. Joe Rubin, co-founder of Conflict Kitchen, reinforced the United States' role in the conflict by pointing out that the government has pledged $30 billion in military aid to Israel from the years 2009 to 2018. Mm-hmm. So I think it's a good idea what this guy's doing, though. There you go. But what is with this childish fucking black and white bullshit you against me style of bickering? Mm-hmm. This, you know, this this stupid fucking. This is any kind of like any kind of group that <clears throat> claim, you know, starts standing up for themselves and then gets some power and starts acting like a union. And this Jew- Jewish Federation seems to be the same thing. Oh, you mm-hmm. can't have you can't feature Palestinian food in your restaurant. And you're and people aren't supposed to think that you guys are the controlling end of that fucking conflict. And you're you're in another country saying a restaurant can't feature your supposed enemy's food in its restaurant. <laughs> Fuck off. Holy shit, you That's Jewish Federation up. of Greater Pittsburgh. You know what? Fucking I've, idiots. I seen something that that uh, the not, I don't know if it's the Jewish Federation or some Jewish group, the Jews of America or something, they have people on the payroll that just look for shit that's anti-Semitic to make a big oh, deal yeah. out of it. Mm-hmm. They pay people to search for this kind of shit, and then they fucking make a big deal. Yeah. It's weird. And it's above big- all, when people think of a hotbed of Judaica, they think Pittsburgh. Oh yeah, that's big. That's big on the map. Yeah, I just don't like that they have a word that means that you don't like them. I I don't have a word for my people that means that, <laughs> you know. Well, yeah. See, that's a yeah. You do. I mean, you could say anti-Caucasian. Same as like there are Semitic peoples. I mean, the word Semitic isn't solely for the purpose of anti. It's from everybody from that region, right? So they're saying, so someone who's... I never heard of anti-Caucasian. Right, because the media doesn't fucking run with that because it doesn't sell any... uh, It doesn't sell papers, you know? I mean, it doesn't... uh, The anti-Semitic is a a thing that, you know, I mean, that's a term that they cultivated out of the, uh, the Holocaust, which, by the way, wasn't originally called the Holocaust. It was called the... Uh, Jewish genocide until the 60s or so when they changed the word to Holocaust, which was another fucking weird thing about Jewish lobbying and things like that. For some reason, they wanted to use the pagan word for sacrifice by fire, and that was important to them. They got a lot of weird agendas out there. Mm. Um, So, uh, in this story, um, they also tried to make the case that the situation is one-sided, that only one view is being heard at the restaurant. The owner of the restaurant dismissed that claim by pointing out that Mr. Roman participated in a public event at Conflict Kitchen and added his voice to the dialogue, as all members of the community, uh, community are welcome to. And I guess he does that which with each time he does this, he has a little open forum where people can come give their thoughts. So what are these fuckers whining about? Dude, they're, they're selling fucking food. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, exactly. Right. What are these people whining about? You ha- That's the point about this goddamn country. Unless you walk up and accost someone or cause someone direct bodily harm, you have the right to have to, to fucking... 